Okay, Assalamualaikum. We were on our topic of enzymes, and today we would be discussing the mode of action of enzymes, and then we will be talking about enzyme affinity. Then we will be talking about our um, inhibitors, and then how the factors that we listed the other day affect the enzyme act activity. So to start with the mode of action of enzymes. Now enzymes work on two modes of actions, which are number one, your lock and key hypothesis. And the other one is your induced fit model. Here is going induced fit hypothesis because of them. Okay. Now what happens is, enzyme we understood it the other day that they are globular in nature. And every enzyme at least has a tertiary structure and tertiary structure basically gives the enzyme its 3D shape. And we understood that why is a 3D shape important? The 3D shape of an enzyme is important for the active site to form. Because active site has a hollow depression or hollow region in which we have a substrate molecule and it bind and attach. Now what happens is that we have understood that the substrate molecule has to attach to the enzyme, right? And it has to attach to it at the active site. So we have hollow depression in it. Okay. Now we also understood and we discussed in the properties of enzymes that enzymes are specific in nature. And why are they specific in nature? They are specific because the shape of the active site, the active site, and the substrate molecule have complementary shape. What it means is that the shape of the active site or the region or the hollowness or the depression of the active site is in such a manner or is in such a structure or shape that substrate molecule can easily fix into it. So it's like how a key, a key and a lock, both of them are specific to one another. Her tale ki jabi different hoti hai, right? Every key cannot open a lock. The particular key of that lock can only open that lock for you, right? So similarly, the lock and key hypothesis states that the shape of the enzyme's active side is complementary to the shape of the substrate molecule. Substrate is the key, which fits perfectly in the complementary active side of the enzyme and hence acts like a lock. So if you get an MCQ which asks you to highlight or to understand that which of the two, either substrate or the enzyme or the lock and the key in this hypothesis. So you would say that the substrate is the key and the enzyme's active side is what? It's the lock. Now the question over here arises that how does the substrate and the active side um, interact or how is this binding possible? So the answer is, that basically what happens is that the substrate, it comes in contact with the active side to which it is complementary. Take him, um, sorry, over here. Yeah, ka. example, hai, lock and key hypothesis key. This is your substrate. And this is complementary toward the active side of the enzyme. So you see, this tarah humare paas lock hota hai, usme aakar ye key lagti hai, bilkul usi tarah se humare paas jo substrate hota hai, humare active side me aakar interact karta hai. So what happens is that how are they bonding together? They're bonding by a weak hydrogen bond. So the substrate and the active side, they form hydrogen bonds between them. And these bonds hold the substrate and the substrate into the active side. And then the enzyme basically forms what you know as an enzyme substrate complex. And then the catalysis occurs. And then the product molecules are formed. And then the product molecules leave the active side. So it's pretty simple. It is something that you've learned in your O-levels as well. So we can move forward to induced fit model. Now induced fit model is something interesting and something that you haven't studied previously. So what happens is, ki hamare paas, let's understand it like this. You get a, uh, you get a dress from a market. Okay, you try dress uh, try karte ho, and you realize that yes, the dress is almost your size, but it isn't fitting perfectly. That means that it's your size, but the fitting is not exactly tailored for you. So what you do is, you, you 
you alter it or you bring certain changes in that dress to make it uh, perfectly tailored for you. So similarly, what happens is that when a substrate comes near to an enzyme's active site, उसकी जो ओरिएंटेशन होती है या जो उसका डिप्रेशन होता है उसकी जो एक्टिव साइड होती है वो जरूरी नहीं है कि इट इज कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री टू द एंजाइम्स एक्टिव साइड यू सी इसका जो हमारे पास शेप है सबस्ट्रेट का इट इज अटल बिट रेक्टेंगुलर एंड आवर एक्टिव साइड इज वॉट इट इज सेमाई सर्कल इन शेप सो दे आर नॉट एग्जैक्टली कॉम्प्लीमेंट्री सो वट हैपन्स इज कि जो हमारी एक्टिव साइट है वो अपने आप को मोल्ड करती है You 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 see how you, when you are, uh, doing pottery or you are working with clay आप एक मोल्ड बनाते हो राइट उसी तरह से वट हैपन्स इज की जो आपकी एक्टिव साइड है उसका जो शेप है वो थोड़ा सा मोल्ड होता है थोड़ा सा एडजस्ट होता है थोड़ा सा चेंज होता है इन ऑर्डर टू मेक श्योर डेट दिस सबस्ट्रेट कैन फिट परफेक्टली इन टू दिव साइड तो वो जो मोल्डिंग होती है वो जो चेंज आता है एंजाइम की एक्टिव साइड के शेप में उस चेंज को हम कहते हैं कॉन्फर्मेशनल चेंज तो एक कॉन्फर्मेशनल चेंज आता है टू मेक द एक्टिव साइड सुटेबल फॉर द सबस्ट्रेट टू फिट इन इट इसमें हमारे पास अगर ये वाला हमारे पास सबस्ट्रेट सॉरी एक्टिव साइड होता जो हमारे पास इनिशियली नजर आ रहा है इसमें हमारा जो सबस्ट्रेट मॉलिक्यूल है वो फिट नहीं कर पाता वाई बिकॉज दिस इज अ बॉक्स शेप एंड दिस इज अमी सर्कल शेप हाउ एवर Our enzyme's active site molded itself according to the substrate's shape, and now this enzyme substrate complex can form. अब हुआ क्या है? हुआ ये है कि ये जो change है, ये induce हुआ है. Induce का क्या मतलब होता है? किसी चीज की वजह से कोई चीज होना. ठीक है? So we have induced this change. Why have we induced, or what has induced this change? What has caused this change? The shape of the enzyme. The enzyme basically forced the en sorry the enzyme basically forced or the enzyme induced this change in the substrate basically forced and induced this change into the enzyme and because why was this change happening it was happening so that the substrate can fit perfectly into the enzyme's active site therefore it is called induced fit model so over here what happens is that our pass the shape of the enzyme's active site. is not complemented to the substrate molecule and this is how it is different from the lock and key hypothesis the active site molds itself around the substrate molecule to provide a better fit the substrate molecules are held within the active site by weak hydrogen bonds to form uh, enzyme substrate complexes enzyme catalyzes the reaction by lowering the activation energy the product molecules eventually leave the active site leaving the enzyme unchanged um so these are basically the two modes of action of enzymes how they work dono mein hota kya hai ek cheez jo common hai usme wo dono ka kya kaam hota hai enzyme hai obviously enzyme ka kaam hota hai to lower the activation energy by providing an alternate pathway now we will just understand how enzymes provide an alternate pathway and how they are lowering the activation energy But both the hypothesis, the enzymes are doing the same job. They are lowering the activation energy and they are remaining unchanged at the end. However, the major difference between the lock, lock and key hypothesis and the induced fit model is that in the lock and key hypothesis, the shape of the substrate and the shape of the active site they are complementary to one another. On the contrary, in the induced fit model, the shape of the substrate molecule and the enzyme's active site they are not complementary to one another. They have the enzyme's active site has to mold itself, has to bring certain changes in the shape of its active site in order for the substrate to fit perfectly and for the catalysis to take place. So, are both the mode of action clear to you? Any questions about them? Okay. So now the question arises कि हमारे पास जो enzyme है how is it lowering the activation energy, right? How is it providing? And हमने ये तो understand कर लिया था उस दिन कि हमारे पास alternate pathway generate हो रहा है. For example, this is your let me draw your energy profile diagram. ये आपके पास आपके reactants हैं. ये आपके प्रोडक्ट्स हैं 
So for example, the normal reaction progresses something like this. Okay. Yeah, the normal reaction. Our normal reaction with this is basically your activation energy. Okay. And now when you introduce an enzyme, this becomes your activation energy. So your activation energy is Wo lower ho jati hai. Right? In the presence of enzyme. Now, can you suggest a reason why is our activation energy getting lowered? Achha, for example, aapko activation energy aap kis se provide kar do? Let's talk about that. How do you provide act aap kisi, for example, aapko ek reaction take place karwane, aapne dono reactions aapne aamne saamne rakhti hai. But they're very good. So you provide heat energy, right? So heat energy provide karte hai, jo molecules hai, wo kinetic energy gain karte hai, jiski wajah se unki jo frequency of effective collision hai, wo increase kar jati hai, aur jo frequency of effective collision increase kar jati hai, to wo aapis mein collide is tarah se karte hai, ki hamara paas reaction take place kar jai, aur products form ho jai. To hum heat energy provide kar raute hai. Heat energy, jo hum provide kar raute hai, uska main role, ya main reason kya hota hai, wo ye hota hai, to bring the reactant molecules closer together and to uh, make sure that they're colliding effectively. So let's write this down. Activation energy hoti kya? Um, jab hum activation energy provide kar hote hain, heat is given for your activation energy. And why is it so? So that the reactant molecules Come close to one another and collide effectively and frequently. Now, this is what we are doing in the absence of an enzyme, right? Activation energy in the absence of enzyme. Now, when we've introduced an enzyme, that activation energy is getting lowered. Okay. Now, the activation energy is lowered. So, what do we do with this enzyme? What do we do with this enzyme? Which is our reaction. Proceed. But it will proceed relatively faster. For this reason, we have said that the activation energy is not going to be able to reach the time. The energy is not going to be able to reach the time. The time is not going to be able to reach the time. And the activation energy is not going to be but what exactly is an enzyme doing? So what enzyme does is that we, we have understood that it provides an alternate pathway. Ye wala pathway se provide kar diya. But ye ho rahe, right? It happens because what enzyme does is enzyme brings the substrate molecules closer together and in a proper orientation. When we proper orientation mein align kar deta hai, unko kareeb le aate hai. Taki wo jaldi se jaldi, humara paas heat provide kerni ka maksad kya ta, ki frequency of effective collision bar jaya, or humara rate of, humara reaction carry forward ho. What enzyme does is, it basically, um, enzyme lowers the activation energy by bringing The, the substrate molecules closer in a proper orientation. And what is the reason for closer proper orientation? When they bind the active sites, the orientation is aligned, correct? So what happens is that it brings the substrate molecules closer in a proper orientation within the active site. And henceforth, we have an alternate pathway with a lowered activation energy. 
एंड अ रिलेटिवली फास्टर रिएक्शन टेक प्लेस कर जाते हैं सो इज दिस क्लियर ओके अनदर थिंग कि हमारे पास अगर हम बात करें उसकी कि हमारे पास प्रोडक्ट्स किस तरह से फॉर्म होने फिर लोग को हम सो यू सी हमारे पास ये पूरा सबस्ट्रेट था एंड देन इट वाज यू नो ब्रोकर इनटू टू पार्ट्स लाइक दिस सो व्हाट हैपेंस इज दैट द प्रेजेंस ऑफ सबस्ट्रेट विद इन द एक्टिव साइट्स बेसिकली पुट्स अ स्ट्रेन पुट्स अ प्रेशर ऑन द व्हाट डू यू से ऑन द सबस्ट्रेट एंड बिकॉज ऑफ दैट स्ट्रेन बिकॉज ऑफ दैट प्रेशर हमारे पास जो सबस्ट्रेट है वो प्रोडक्ट्स में फिर ब्रेक ऑफ कर जाते हैं अच्छा Now, if I ask you, क्या हमारे पास active side, if you think active side के अंदर कोई bonds present होंगे, like would active side be having any bonds or something like that? What is basically conferring for the shape of the active side? Active side की अगर एक shape maintained है, या अगर active side की अगर shape थोड़ी सी flexible भी हो रही है, तो वो कौन से bonds हैं जो present हैं, जिसकी वजह से हमारे पास active side को एक proper shape मिल रही है, या active side अपने आप को adjust कर पा रहे हैं, mold कर पा रहे हैं? Any suggestions? Okay, so you are saying the ones in prime in the proteins. Okay, so okay, हमारे पास proteins में दो bonds होते हैं. हमारे पास एक तो peptide bonds होते हैं, जो कि sequence of amino acids को पकड़े होते हैं. दूसरा हमारे पास होते हैं वो जो four bonds हमने tertiary और quaternary structure में पढ़े हैं, जो कि hydrogen bonds हैं, disulfide bonds हैं, hydrophobic interactions हैं और ionic bonds हैं. So which of the two bonds are you referring? Are they are you talking about the peptide bond or are you talking about the four bonds that make the very good? So over here, Hazrat, you won't see the quaternary structure because not all enzymes have quaternary structures, but we know that all enzymes have a tertiary structure. So the bond with the tertiary structure, which are your hydrogen bonds, your hydrophobic interactions. Your disulfide and your ionic bonds. These are giving active site its shape. 